Magic in 2022 was crazy, with tons of products and new cards, and according to an investor meeting, 2023 is going to be just as card-packed, if not more. So let's talk about every set to expect in 2023, starting at the beginning of the year with Dominaria Remastered. This set has actually already been spoiled, but it is a premium reprint set that curates cards from every set that has taken place on Dominaria. It has lots of value and looks awesome, and is currently slated for January 13th, 2023. This fills the slot that Innistrad Double Feature filled last year and looks like a much better set than it overall. Following up Dominaria Remastered, Phyrexia All Will Be One will be the first major standard set release of the year, taking Kamigawa Neon Dynasty slot in 2023 in February. This set will also come out with Commander decks and an alchemy set on Arena about a month later in March. It serves as the penultimate set in the Phyrexian storyline and will focus on the Phyrexians, poison counters, and proliferation. It will also feature 10 Planeswalkers, 5 of which will be completed. While not officially announced, after Phyrexia All Will Be Won, we will see the standard Challenger decks launch in April. That will be 4 meta decks that they power down a little bit to be sold as pre-constructed decks. It is technically possible with standard popularity declining that this product gets cancelled, but it seems unlikely that they're going to give up on standard that much. After the challenger decks, we will see another standard set in the form of March of the Machine, its commander set, and potentially an alchemy set a month later. This will be the final battle of the Phyrexian story arc, and will be the first standard set in a while to take place on more than one plane, with art hinting at planes like Strixhaven, Zendikar, and Innistrad. This set is sure to be big, and its commander decks will be too, as they are the official commander 2023 decks of the year, similar to the five Capenna decks we got this year. Every year, the spring set has the biggest commander set, with more new cards and normally a higher price tag. However, unlike previous sets, March of the Machine will have an epilogue, or as they're calling it, an aftermath. A new type of set, called a micro set, will be coming out in May and will be a non-draftable, smaller, standard legal set that will focus on the aftermath of the events of March of the Machine. Not too much is known, but we do know the boosters are smaller, only containing about 5 cards, and the set doesn't seem to feature any commons. This is also likely to take the place of the arena-only set, Alchemy March of the Machine, as it's in the same time frame that the Alchemy set would normally be. Following the aftermath, we get a smaller product in the form of the 2023 Starter Kit, which isn't meant for established players and is meant as an on-ramp to playing the game. Assuming they continue, this product is likely to launch in June. Alright, now it's time for a little disclaimer. Everything from this point on is less clear on the dates, so what I did is I took a list of every product that came out in 2022 and tried to match up the closest similar product that was coming out in 2023 to get a rough estimate of when these products are launching. Dates could change and not be similar to 2022. Either way, the next major set launch will be the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth. Taking the place of the D&D Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate set, the Lord of the Rings Universes Beyond set is likely to launch in July in both paper and on Arena. While we don't know a date, we know a decent amount about the set. It will be modern legal, similar to a Modern Horizons set. However, they claim it will be not as focused on modern as a Modern Horizons set is, and instead want to be focused on just being playable in as many formats as possible, also known as being playable in Commander, it seems like these days. We also know it's coming to Arena in an unaltered state to be legal and historic and alchemy, unlike Baldur's Gate, which saw many changes and new cards. In addition, the set will have Commander decks, and I assume it'll be similar to the Commander Legends set last year, and have 5 full-on new Commander decks with more than average new Made for Commander cards. However, it's not the only non-standard legal product coming to Arena next year. We also have Shadows over Innistrad Remastered. This arena-only set will combine the Shadows over Innistrad block into a single set to inject new cards into both Historic and Explorer on Arena. This will be a very similar set to Amonkhet Remastered and Kaladesh Remastered that we saw a couple years ago. However, the timing on this is weird. It seems like the arena team is targeting having one new set of cards per month in a year. So we have January, nothing that we know of at this point, but there could be some sort of, you know, Historic Anthology. In February, we're getting Phyrexia All Will Be One. In March, we're getting Alchemy Phyrexia. In April, we're getting March of the Machine. In May, we're getting March of the Machine The Aftermath and potentially March of the Machine Alchemy. And in Ju June and July, we're getting Tales of the Middle Earth, somewhere in there. So that means to me that Shadows of Rainer Shroud Remastered is either coming out after Tales of Middle Earth or right before it. 
Fight to Bet will see Innistrad remastered in early June and Tales of the Middle Earth in later July, but these are two big sets that don't affect standard. We've never seen two big non-standard legal sets in a row, so it'll be interesting to have them back to back. There are two slots in the 2022 year that don't have a 2023 counterpart announced at this point, and they both have the number 2022 in their set titles. The first is Double Master 2022. Double Masters 2022 was a relative hit, and we don't have the announcement of a new one. We are getting Dominaria Remastered, which is a reprint set, however with the addition of 2022 to the end of the set name, it wouldn't shock me if they plan to make it a yearly release. If it is, we'll see it shortly after Tales of Middle Earth, likely in August, which may be a nice palette cleanser for those who don't like Universes Beyond and like traditional magic, which Double Masters seems to print. The next set moves back into the standard realm with Wilds of Eldraine, serving again as a palette cleanser after the heavy story of March of the Machine, Eldraine makes the return this time with Commander decks in September, with an alchemy set likely following in October. Not too much is known about this set, but this will be the set that will trigger standard rotation, taking Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, and Shreets of New Capenna out of standard, and those sets plus Baldur's Gate set out of alchemy. Following Eldraine, I expect we'll see the Doctor Who Commander decks in the spot we saw the Warhammer 40k decks this year in October. I expect a similar format, price, and quality as the 40k decks this year. However, it will apparently have collector boosters, which is a first for a Commander deck product. This again will be another Universes Beyond product aimed to bring new players to the game. Now, in this point in 2022, we had Infinity. However, that set was originally aimed at April, and so I expect the epilogue set with March and the Machine will fill Infinity's spot in 2023 and not actually be in October. A big reason we felt this product fatigue this year was because we had so many products around this October-September uh, release window, and that's because Infinity was unfortunately delayed. However, a product that will likely be in the spot is Game Night, a board game style magic product that releases yearly. It's not that interesting, but it should be launching in October. We should also be seeing Pioneer Challenger decks launching in October or November, following the same format as the standard ones, but focusing on Pioneer instead of standard. Ending out the year, we'll see the Lost Caverns of Ixalan return us to Ixalan, obviously, this time exploring the Underbelly. Not too much is known about this set, but it serves as the final major standard release of the year in November, and should be accompanied by Commander decks and an Alchemy set in December. Finally, in December, we may see Jumpstart return in Jumpstart 2023, the other set with 2022 in the title this year. There is a chance that the really well-received product gets another entry next year as it may become a yearly product. It may also launch with a new starter commander deck sequel, however, those this year may have been a more one-off thing similar to the past brawl decks that launched with Throne of Eldraine. Alright, so that's Magic in 2023, and uh, that took a while and that was a lot of sets. I'm excited for this year, even despite the seemingly never-ending product releases. Let me know what you're most excited for in the comments down below. I think I'm most excited for March of the Machine The Aftermath, just because it's so weird, I think it could be really interesting. But yeah, let me know all that in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.